welcome to another mini haul and this one is actually not makeup related whatsoever uh i went to I, I, let me back up um this is a harry potter themed haul I know you're like Harry Potter candy. If you have been a diehard subscriber since day one, love you. Um, you know I am, I don't want to say obsessed with Harry Potter, but I am a Harry Potter fangirl. I love it. It's got me through a lot. I started reading them when I was, when they, oh God, when I was in what, fifth grade-ish? Um, all the movies. I have two Harry Potter tattoos currently and we'll be adding to that. It's just, I'm not going to get into the whole why I love and all that. You guys, Hogwarts is always the home. On my graduation from college, uh, cap. I have Hogwarts didn't accept FAFSA. I have my lightning bolt. Like it's 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 real for me. I'm I'm a fan and I love it. Um, I wouldn't say super super fan in the sense of. I guess you can say super fan, but it. I know there's the whole Pottermore website. I'm a part of it. I don't. I'm not on it every single day. Things like that. But just enough, like it's a part of me. I have all the books. I'm one of those people that'll fuss you out if you say you don't like Harry Potter, but you never read the books. Yeah, I'm like that. Um, and it's 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 just a part of me, and it's something that's always gonna be in my heart. But anyway, that's not the point. Let's get into this. So a while ago, um, not a while ago. I posted on Instagram maybe like last week. I said a while, but. Um, I bought, probably last month, it was around December, uh, I bought the little Harry Potter pop. I was looking for Harry Potter for a while. He wasn't really hard to find, but I, I just don't know why I couldn't find him. But the little Harry Potter pop figurine, these pop figurines are so cute. I'm not like an avid collector of them. I have, I think, two because friends have bought them for me. I think I have Boo from Monsters, Inc., and I have like a cat or something. Um, but I never bought one myself until I saw the Harry Potter one. And I was like, oh my god, I gotta get it. So this is the Harry Potter. And this is the one in his Quidditch uniform. And he has the uh, snitch in his hand and his broomstick. And that was it. I was fine with that. And I just, you know, like that made me so happy. And I was just like, and I looked on the back. And there's like, you know, all the characters that they offer in this collection. And they, I was just like... Do I need them all? Like, I don't know. I was kind of going back and forth. And then I, um, you know, I'm supposed to be moving in with Nelson. Me and Nelson are putting in plans to move in together. And by putting in plans, I mean getting, like, because we live in two different states right now. Getting all that situated and everything. Um, it's not going to happen, like, tomorrow, but within the next couple months. So, anyway, me and I get, we're getting a two-bedroom apartment. And he's giving me the second bedroom for a makeup studio filming closet situation. And I'm so pumped so pumped so um i was like i'm thinking about my background I'm thinking about everything i want to change and i was like it would be so cool if i had my little harry on a shelf behind me um so cool right i was like yeah but i'll do you one better so i went on a hunt to find the rest of them of course so i have the second harry and this is him in his regular uh hogwarts uniform hogwarts robes with the wand in his hand we have harry there uh, then I have, um, Hermione. So I got them all. This is, if you didn't understand, like, the point of this video. Yeah, telling you I got them all. Um, where's Ron? I have Ron here. I also have Snape. <laughs> and I'm going to, um, have these sitting up behind my background. That's my plan. Dumbledore. Everyone's favorite bad guy, Voldemort, of course. And which is probably my favorite next to Harry because it's bigger. Hagrid! Hagrid is bigger than the other ones. But Hagrid! Um, I am going to take him out of the box. I know a lot of people, they're collector's items and they're... You know, you want them in pristine condition. I'm never going to sell them. I don't care if I'm dirt poor. I'm never going to sell them. I was talking to Nelson about it. And, um... He was like, you should keep them in the boxes. He was like, you should keep them in the boxes because, you know, they'll be worth a lot of money one day. He was like, who am I kidding? You're never going to sell these. Uh, no. So I will be taking them out of the boxes. Um, yeah, I don't see me buying a second set to keep in the boxes. I'm, I, I just don't see that ever happening. But I am going to keep them out, um, take them out of the boxes and have them set up and really do a little Harry Potter theme behind me. I just, I don't know. I, I think that's going to be the theme of my room, like magic. Like, I don't know. I'm just excited about it. And last purchase I got was 
really dear to my heart. And again, it's Harry Potter. And um, you know the books ended oh, years ago. And the last movie came out in 11, 11 or 12. And I just, you know, it's kind of like if you're a Potterhead like me and you're just like, damn. The end of an era, you cry, I cry. And it's kind of like you don't have anything to look forward to. You know, it's like, dang. You move on with life, but you always hold that to your heart. I reread the books and everything. And J.K. Rowling, because she's such a doll, gave us something else to look forward to. Her, She teamed up with illustrator Jim Kay, and they are, he is illustrating the novels of Harry Potter. And the first one has, came, it came out like in November, and I just was able to pick it up. So this is Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, the complete illustrated version. As you can see, it's much larger. It's like a coffee table book. Um... You can see here, and it's the full now. That's the thing. It's the full novel, but illustrated. That's not an illustration. I think it's over a hundred illustrations. Let's so you can see. It's the illustrated novel of Harry Potter, and they have set to release one every year. So, um. Chamber of Secrets should be coming out at the end of this year. So that's something to look forward to for the next six years, seven years. And, well, six years because one came out. And I don't know, I'm just so excited. And so I'll probably have, like, again, on my little Harry Potter area in my room, I'm definitely going to have a whole shelf or a whole whatever dedicated to and have these books laid out. And I'm just so excited about that. And I want to share that with you guys. I know it's not makeup related, but it's, you know, me and it makes me happy related. And if you're a Harry Potter fan like me, let me know. And, um, we can love it together. But that is it for this little Harry Potter haul. Um, if you have any other things you think that may cool, be cool, I don't collect everything from Harry Potter, but if you see something Harry Potter and makeup related, I know there's a Harry Potter eyeshadow set, Harry Potter, uh, cosmetics, some things like that, but like a Harry Potter mirror, something that you think that'd be cool, be sure to leave a link down in the comments. And I may add it to my little Harry Potter wall that I'm in my mind building for when I move. So, um, I love you all, and I will talk to you guys in the next one. Bye.